All right, uh, good morning. Uh, well, actually, good afternoon, everybody, and uh, welcome to beautiful Bunt Park in Clinton, New Jersey, courtesy of uh, Mike Eisenhart and his family, who do great work out here with uh, the Department of Rec to get this beautiful field for us. Uh, we are here today. This is a friendly uh, kicking off the season. Morris Rugby will be facing off against Nightmares. We've seen Nightmares before in the Sevens program. Super handy uh, at the Sevens game. Uh, we believe they've only started playing 15s in the last year or two, but we've heard uh, real promising reports coming out of their camp, so we're looking forward to a really good game here. Uh, I'm joined by uh, Gene Caulfield, my old partner in crime coaching and good friend. Uh, who will be sitting in the seat to the right of me. Gino, good to have you. Thanks, Steph, for the invite. It should be a beautiful day. A little windy here and here, but, but beautiful, beautiful weather. The field looks in great shape. Sure does, sure does. And as always, uh, Chris Production O'Brien on the camera duties. Thank you, brother, for all the work you do there. Uh, the game is up. Uh, Kickoff Morris to the Nightmares. Nightmares making some hay. It looks like the number eight, Bo uh, number eight Bortz is making a run for it. Folks, uh, I think she's off to the races and dotting it down right under the uprights, making it for a, an easy kick for one of her teammates. Uh, not an auspicious start for Morris. You certainly don't want to get a coast-to-coast -coast kick return done like that, Gino. But um, Yeah, number seven received the ball very well, ran cross field, uh, got a couple of people to, to tackle her, and then she offloaded to number eight, and eight just went down the sideline. Nobody really kind of reached her at any point during the, uh, the run. Well, we talk about this all the time, Gene, and it's like it's that ball at pace. You're going to hit those shoulders. You're going to you're you're going to yeah. come through, hit the soft shoulder, and you're going to be tough to tackle. And that's basically what we're looking at. Yeah, I mean the one thing I could point out there, it looked like Morris kind of all bunched up. Nobody really kind of took any charge here to get up close to the uh, the ball carrier. Okay, so that was number eight, and that was five for Bortz. Yep. Uh, number ten, I believe, is Vogel for them for the uh, extra point. Thank you, sir. Kick is good. So that'll put the nightmares up in the first uh, minute and a half, 7-0. Uh, Absolutely. So we're going to be playing 35-minute halves, uh, two halves, and then there'll be a what we believe is a, uh, a third 20-minute half uh, for some of the younger players to get some game time. But let's... Uh, Get the That's a good way of doing it. Keeps the kids coming into practice. They get a little game time out there. Granted, it may not be uh, a lot of time, but at least it gets them out on the pitch and gets them to understand what the game is about. I, I agree, Gene, and I think the important thing there is like, you know, you, you work hard all week at practice. You want to throw that jersey on. So I'm always a big fan of the the secondary piece. Sure, you can't learn the sport unless you play. 100%. Just waiting for the ball to come back to the center for another kick. So it, what we expected, we just saw, you know, this is a pretty competent side, right? Yep. Maybe Morris uh, sleeping on them a little bit in the first few minutes, but that should uh, have woken them up. Ready, ready. Ball's up. Good, oh, I guess a little bit of uh, wet grass out there slowed that ball down. We've got a whistle. Okay, it looks like, uh, yeah. It's going to be a knock on more uh, to... Uh, Dock on from Nightmares to Morris. Morris will have the put. Correct. So you heard Coach Mike on the sideline. That's what he wanted to see is get that turnover on the kick. Puts the Morris on the front foot again. Abby Cirillo in the nine jersey will have the put for Morris. Uh, you see uh, Jojo Mignoni at 10 firing up. Apologies, folks, getting a little breezy. So we overheard the referees talking that one of the things they're always looking for is safety around this uh, the scrummaging, and uh, rightly so. Uh, so you'll see uh, the referee taking a bit of her time, making sure that it's set right, and that's uh, that's that's a welcome look. Ball's out the back a little bit loose to Cirillo off to 10. Mignoni, Mignoni shoots it back out, goes to Corfin at 13. Corfin looking for the hands of Olive Rhodes. Olive Rhodes takes it into contact. That's the Morris. Yeah, penalty Morris, and it's going to be a quick tap Cirillo. Mignoni looking for the options to the far side. 
There goes Rhodes, nice carry by Rhodes, taken down pretty hard on the far side, just north of the 22. Big rucking going on, Gino. Yeah, it looks like, you know, I mean, nightmares at that point coming in from the side, but referee uh, sees it differently. Yeah. Okay, ball's going the other way. Morris scrambling their defense. Let's see how quickly Morris moves up here. They they've, you know, took that first minute and a half of the game and slept. Now they're they're ready to play. Okay, a little bit a little bit more nice promising right on the there. line speed. Yeah, and big stick right there. Nightmare's making some yards here. Yep. Uh, let's see what she's calling here. Okay, it looks like um, I didn't catch the uh, the hand signal there, Gene, but I would suspect maybe uh, it's just a penalty. She's not giving the, the secondary uh, hand uh, secondary signal. Uh, probably uh, hands in. Yeah. On the yeah. Mars side. Shoulder, shoulder, lower. All right, I like what I'm seeing from Morris as far as getting up on that runner, not letting him get the head yeah. of steam. And now Morris has the ball. There we go. Tap and go. Quick. Cirillo with a nice ball right there. She sends it off to Mackenzie Marks. Mackenzie Marks making hard yards, brought down. Ball got coughed up. Ball is staying. Yeah, ball got turned over, unfortunately. Looks like Marks may have lost it in the contact. So it's back on the front foot for the uh, Nightmares. So you hear Coach Mike from the side, it looks like we've got a penalty and we're gonna, uh, or Morris is gonna look to kick for points, which is a good decision um, in, in certainly at this, um, at the beginning of this game, right, is to put those points up on the board quick and then you get the ball back. Especially on a windy day like this, you know, we're probably 22 meters out, maybe. Uh, take your points when you can at this point, especially early in the game, as you point out, Steph. That's, yeah. that's a good, really good point. Yeah, it's an under, you know, it's it's been underutilized, I think, in the youth, youth game in the United States, but you're start, starting to see some good decision making now uh, around when and where to do it, right? And this this is a great call right here. And we saw it, you know, with uh, some of the Six Nation games too, where some of the, the internationals were taking those points early in the game. Sometimes the difference may, being a big six nine points. Absolutely. Uh, so I, we got a turnover here. It's a penalty of some sort, but yeah. not sure. Okay, Nightmare's on the run here. Hard runner, number eight. Yeah, that looks like um, Bortz again. Uh, pardon me, yeah, that's Bortz again with the carry. So it looks like they're going to be going to their eight for the carries here, which is interesting. I'd like to see what they're going to do with 12 and 13 as well, if they can get it that far out. And it looks like that's exactly what we're talking about here. Ball's lost up top. Thank you. There we go. Uh, Nice quick ball from uh, Cirillo here. She hands off to uh, Maroney. Maroney making hard yards. Support is there. Boy, okay. We're getting a lot of whistles out here, folks. Yeah, this is uh, this is this is tough. You want to see a flow in the game, and uh, yeah, it, it's tough. But again, if, if both teams are, are, are creating offenses and you want to keep the game safe, then that's what you have to do. To blow the whistle. Yeah. Ball's coming our way here. Um, and what you saw there was good formation from Morris to cover that as uh, Cirillo in the nine jersey comes back to cover the near side paint. So again, more heads up rugby coming out of that Morris side, making sure that the, uh, uh, the, the, the kick is covered. Okay, first look at a set piece, the, uh, the line out for us here, not, not necessarily the first look at the set pieces. We did have a scrum down earlier, but let's get a look, see at the line out here. I was just overhearing uh, what uh, Captain uh, Jojo Mignon was uh, saying to the coach, uh, and I can understand the, 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 the reasons why the referee was, was blowing the wall. People were diving. You want to keep your chest and body above your knees, or at least above your hips, and a lot of people were going below that. So, Okay, folks, that's another score right there. I think we're going to chalk it up to Vogel. Unfortunately, we lost the replay component there for a second, so let's just mark it down for Vogel for the moment. Or pardon me, for, Bo uh, for Vogel. Um, so that would be another five down, making it 12-0 nightmares with the uh, kick to come. Tough kick over here. You can see the young lady on the far side paint. This is not, I mean, wind is at her back. That's definitely a help. Uh, it's, it's a tough kick with the wind. but good It was effort. a good strike, good just effort. not yep. enough mustard on it. So it's going to be 12-0 at... Let's give you a time check, folks. 
I'm gonna say it about nine minutes in. Started the clock a little bit late there, but we'll just tack on a few minutes to the 751 here. Let's call it the 10th minute. Okay. Okay. Nightmare is set to receive Morris up. So I, I gotta tell you, I, I, I do like what I'm seeing from uh, the Nightmare side over here. They are, uh, they're, they maintain composure under good pressure defense uh, when they're on the offensive foot. Balls up, well fielded by number three, Christ. Christ pumping the legs, moving forward. She's brought down. Rhodes is on the ball. Oh, Rhodes almost had the poach. Yep. She's backing off. Number 10, Vogel, first receiver, moving the ball out wide. The visiting red jersey marshalling their offense. Decent pressure here out of the black jersey from Morris. Liking what I'm seeing, although... Uh, you know, just not panicking out of the red jersey, which is super important when you've got pressure D on you like that. Oh, and there's a line break. And they're running hard. They're they're not, you know, waiting to get hit. They're running, trying to run through the tackle. Uh, absolutely right, Gene. Like, they're, they're, they're eating up the arm tackles for sure. you you got to drop those shoulders in. So, ball was driven out far side into touch. Uh, we're going to be about 12 o'clock for us right here on the, um, uh, on the line I'll put in. Morris with the put in, and it looks like Maroney's going to be uh, throwing. Yes. Good, nice. Good throw there. Yeah. Yeah. Timing might have been slightly off, uh, but uh, you know it, she's got a wicked good arm with that. So I suspect we'll see that'll start to tighten up for us for uh, both uh, thrower and receiver. And she went throwing the ball in. She also received her own throw for the most part. That helped them out. Move the ball down the field. Oh, that's unfortunate. A little bit of a poach there, but it looks like there was whistle. It's going to go Morris's way. So lucky for Morris on that one, Gino. Yeah, that's a break. Uh, you know, it looks like the Morris, Morris, I think, needs to slow it down just a hair. I, I agree. A little too quick. I, and I would say the same, actually, for Nightmares, right? Because uh, although they're, they're keeping the composure, they're just like a half step ahead of themselves uh, yes. when they're getting yes. on the front foot, right? Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, the other part, too, is you, know, you, you keep going fast, fast, fast. Something's going to break down. Yeah. And when something breaks down, things don't necessarily happen yeah. the right way. So well, that's go slow. Managing the tempo of the game, yep. right? And yep. that's another 100%. component that these young ladies, these young ruggers are starting to uh, grasp as well. <laughs> Not an easy thing to do when you're in the heat of it. No, absolutely not. You know, Cirillo off the back going out to uh, Mignoni. Nice little switch from Rhodes to Mignoni. Corfin with the ball outside to Cusack. Cusack making hard yards. Nice work there from the black jersey making sure. Loose ball in the back. Oh, nice little kick right there from Vogel. She sees the opportunity. Rhodes unfortunately trying to cover, but it looks like the knock's going to get called. Great heads up play from Vogel there with that uh, little bit of uh, soccer chip, right? Yeah, well, the Ellis also her going into the ruck and just pushing people off the off the pile. It's it's a smart play. Sure. So this will be the uh, nightmares put in. Miles in the nine jersey will have the honors. I'm banking on an eight man sneak here, Gino. I, I don't think so. I think it's it's going to go it's going to go out to the back line. Let's take a look. Oh, she's digging for it. That was, she was going for it, but uh, unfortunately, or yeah. fortunately for Morris, that was a good push there that kind of disrupted yeah. what was going to happen. That ball wasn't wasn't clean, and that was a good move trying to dig it out. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so it's um, it's a choppy game, uh, but it's starting to come together. Is my assessment, Gino? I would agree with that. You know, you, you need to get a flow, yeah. right? And and we talk about that a lot, uh, at least when coaching and things like that. But the flow is really the part that gets you going. Yeah, yeah. And what we're seeing here, other than some broken moments uh, for Morris, making it 12-0, where Nightmares were able to capitalize, it is being played between the 22s. Uh, yes, I'll even go 40s at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Okay, nice work right there. Ronsky decides to opts to pick it up off the back. She's brought down pretty hard. Not too many yards gained there, if any. The, the, the one thing I'm noticing, people, people aren't doing that cha-cha getting back. Yeah. They're kind of standing around. Wise took the ball into contact there. Uh, good ball carrier right there. Corfin moving it out to the far side. Brought down hard, second, third receiver. Sienna Miller with a pass out to her buddy in the front row, Mackenzie Marks, who takes it in. 
Good clean ball for Cirillo. Cirillo moves it out to McNoni. McNoni looking for and opting for the run. Great feet from that kid. And nice work from uh, Maroney here. Oh, Maroney, unfortunately. Good job by Sosi there. Herning, yeah, is able to cover. Uh, it was a little bit of an errant pass, but that's okay. Those happen under pressure, and we're seeing it again here. So, Gene, I think you're right. I think the players got to calm it down a touch, just as coach. There, there's a little bit of panic. Uh, yeah. You know, and as, as we've always talked in the past, you know, eat the ball if you have to. That's, that'll slow the game down a little bit. Yeah, there's no shame in taking it into contact, right, and just maintaining that possession. You've got the support there. They're telling you they're behind you. Just go in, trust steer it. the ball. Trust yeah. them. Trust your, trust your fellow players. There you go. All right, nice vantage point here again. Miles with the put-in in the red jersey. Okay, the referee bringing it up again. She wants to see appropriate space here, so she's bringing them closer in together. You almost have to get uncomfortably close to two front rows in order to create that right, the, the, the right bind, right? Yes. Because yes. a little too far apart, and that's when you see the, you know, the crumble and the collapse. So good call by the referee. You can, if, you, if you also notice uh, on the Nightmare side, their, their front row is sitting a little higher than the Mars front row. That was, oh, that was a great idea right there. Lots of green space here. So, Herning looks like she's on it. She's able to cover. Good job by Cusack. Yeah, Cusack picks it up. Cusack is really coming into that 15 jersey, Gene. You, you'd be For the short period of time that she's been playing, she understands the role back there. Right. Yeah, see, I, I would, uh, this is, this is gonna get away from Mars pretty quick if they don't uh, settle down. Yeah, and you know, I think uh, whenever Vogel's near that, near that ball, you gotta have two on her because uh, she is tough to get down. She's she's fleet-footed and she's gonna make those yards like that. Great idea from Morris, same thing. Chase is great from McNoni. McNoni can't hold on, unfortunately, but they are playing it close to the touch here, Gino. Yep. Ball's back, they're gonna set the ball. See now at this point, just let them have the ball. Slide out and start playing defense. So we just talked about that, right? That was a heads up play right there from the number one, uh, Lytic. She knows that it's a bit of a panic ball. She grabs it, goes it goes to ground, makes sure she's rucked over and secures it. Yep. Like really a thought, thoughtful play right there from Lytic. Yeah, number, number 10 has a very high rugby IQ. She's probably one of the highest ones out on the field. We've seen her in sevens and you know, it's, with the more space on the field that you give her, the, the more lightning quick she is. Yep. Looks like a try was awarded here. So, yes, uh, try awarded, as we said, unfortunately. Try was awarded. It was a bit of a melee down there, folks. Apologies that we don't have a number for you, but that's going to make it 17. I think that was Vogel again, to be honest with you. Number Let's, 10 had the ball going down that way. We'll give it to Vogel um, because she was spinning out of tackles down there, yes. right? Yep. And uh, let's see, she'll pro most likely be up on the kicking duties again. Yes, she is. If, I, if, if I'm correct, I think she's taking her talents to uh, life in the fall. Good strike again, again with the wind. Always out by the, that five meter line. It's always tough to try to put the ball in. in Anything the close to the paint like that is super, super difficult, right? Yep. And, and like you said, conditions today, you can see the flags on the top of the post are not, are not being kind when you're kicking it from our side of the field for yep. sure. So, folks, that's going to make it 17 uh, for Nightmares, and we are in the first half at about 20 minutes. So about 15 minutes of rugby to play in this first half. Still plenty of time for Morris to uh, get on the board. Well, something, uh, something's going on. Time is off on the field. Yeah, you know, and I, listen, let's talk a little bit about Nightmares because, uh, you know, again, we, this is the first time we're seeing him in 15s. We have to change our jerseys. It's, it's, okay. Oh, hang on, folks. Okay, there's a break in the action. Coach Bill just came over to let us know that uh, uh, the, the, the referee would like a jersey change because uh, 
it's uh, it's a little bit tough to call out there being fairly close. So, uh, folks, we're going to go to a quick timeout here, and we'll be back with live action shortly. Gino, talk to you in a few. Okay. All right, we're back, folks. That was a quick one. So the decision was made because uh, half is uh, we're closer to half than we are to the beginning of uh, uh, this first half. That they will make the jersey changes at the half. If that wasn't confusing enough for you, though. Boy, was I, a, I, I'm trying to follow it at this point. Yeah. I, need, I need a whiteboard, I think, to diagram this. I, uh, I I felt a little bit like Donald Rumsfeld there. <laughs> I'm not sure if you know what you know when you don't know, but what you know then. <laughs> so anyway. We digress. Back to the action. And uh, the red jersey's on the front foot again. Good tackle. Miles works it off the back there. Nice skip ball out, Gino, right here. Yeah, absolutely. We oh, really well read uh, from Cirillo. Great tackle right there. No, pardon me. That's uh, Landerman who on the tackle in the sixth jersey. Nice work. Good tackle. Oh, another good one by number one for Morris. Number one for Morris is Mackenzie Marks. That was a good tackle right there. I mean, that uh, that young rugger was getting ahead of steam, and that yes. was taken out. Yeah. Ball goes to Morris. Morris moving it on the front foot to the far side. It looks like the number 14 for Morris. That would have been Van Dorn. Ball to Mignon. She drove forward. Now ball's back out again. This is a big carry from Sienna Miller right here. Newer player to rugby, only about, I think this is the second season for her, and she is just doing a great job in that three jersey. Maroney with a big shoulder drop right there, and then takes the player with her and dots it down for Morris's first score. Really well worked from the team, but a really super finish by, uh, by Maroney there. Really nice work. I think Morris really needed that at this point. They've given up uh, 17 points or so. Yeah. But they really needed something to, to show that what they can do and move the ball forward. Again, we talked about pace. We talked about sure. tempo. Sure. That was much better tempo from kickoff to getting the ball to scoring than before of being helter-skelter, trying to throw the ball all over the place. Yeah. Much much better tempo, I thought, there. Uh, yeah, absolutely. You know, they, they it was just, they kept it simple, good clinical rugby, moved it, and I tell you what, I, and nothing I like better than when you're at the five, in the five, and you see that shoulder drop and ball go in. Yes. Like, yep. heads up. Yep, I'm, I'm going through somebody. I'm scoring no matter what. Exactly, exactly. Cirillo. Abby Cirillo with the extras, so that'll make it 17 7 uh, nightmares. Okay, Vogel with the restart. Good high ball, lots of hang time, gives them an opportunity to contest as well. I believe that was taken by O'Brien. Yep, good tackle, yeah. good, catch, good catch there. Great hands on that kid, really good off the top of the uh, the lineouts too, very secure up there. Great, brings the ball in, you know, it's a good throw to a good uh, catcher right there. That's a solid platform for Morris. Anyway, uh, ball moving out with McNoney. McNoney with a little show and go right there, looking for space up top, taken down at the 50. Oh! oh that's, that should be hands in there, number two. Number 10 there, the other 10. There's two of them out there. Cirillo turning into a real nine there, looking for that penalty call, right? Yep. Arms go up, but then she sees it's not coming, grabs and redistributes. Unfortunately, turnover goes for uh, Nightmares here. Miles working it off the back to Vogel, her counterpart in the 10 jersey. Number six right there, yep. looking for the carry Miller. Morris is going to get a penalty there because the hands to the throat by the ball carrier. Oh, yeah, you got to be careful with that shoulder fend, right? you got to make sure that yeah. target is... you got to go below the neck. It's, yeah. If you hit in the mid-chest and below, that's fine, but... And it's a great move, right? Because if you hit that, that, that tackling shoulder, right, you're going to push them off and get rid of it. Yes. But it's dangerous because you can slip, hit in the face, the neck, and then that becomes that penalty. Right. 
And remember, think of center of gravity. Hit there, right, right there in the middle of your chest. Yeah. Or that shoulder and yeah. just knock them off balance, yeah. right? But the danger is, is the neck's right there. Yep. <laughs> so, again, a lot of discussion out there. Not sure if we have time off on the field, Gene. Let's say that uh, we do. But we are running at about, let's see, 23 minutes plus 225. Uh, so uh, I'm saying we've got about 10 minutes of play out there. So it looks like the referee's having a chat with the captains. This should be a quick chat. This should not be a dissertation of what's going on. Mm -hmm. you, cre you committed the foul. Here's your warning. It happens again. Now you're going to get a card. Yeah. Very simple. Yeah. yeah, which is fair, too. Yeah. Okay, so Morris is going to look to kick the touch to set up the next line out. Oh, no. Cirillo goes for the quick tap. Mackenzie Marks with the carry. Taking... Taking players with a strong, really nice run. Strong run. She is a terrific runner, Gene. Really coming into her own in that jersey. Cirillo off the back. Wise oh. takes it back into contact. She threw that ball off her behind. She was on the ground. I tell you. It's a good throw. Real good throw by her. I, I don't. I like the pot idea, the crash idea, but I think with this team, they're too dis disciplined on their defense. They're not sucking into it, right? So maybe. Yeah. Maybe a little bit less of that in the second half and more ball distribution out wide because uh, you've, got, you, you've got some folks with wheels in the black jersey out here yes, um, that yes. you can, they can round that corner. I, I think the other part, too, is you, know, you still run your pods, but make sure you're throwing that ball off of one of your forwards or one of the pods behind back to the, the, the backs. Get the there ball up to the backs. Yeah. Let them still run that crash ball through so they still have to keep them honest, if you will. Or make it a dummy run and get yeah. that ball moving out back, yeah. I think. Yep. Just against this team, what we're seeing is they're, they're they've got a high level of discipline. They're not they're not biting on those balls. Mm -hmm. Yep, no, agreed. Run the dummy. That's what I want to see. Run yeah. the dummy. We saw McNoni doing that earlier. She's got a great show and go, and then she's got the feet to match. Yeah, that's a great ball right there. Nice ball too. Coach Dobbs must be happy. The momentum's there, really. Oh, unfortunately, brought down, but looking real good there from Morris. Really nice play. Oh, it's a Morris penalty to Morris again. Quick tap from Cirillo, out to McNoni in the 10. McNoni looking for space. She's finding it, folks. Oh my God, great run for McNoni there. Oh, see, now again, coming in on the side. Okay, ball carry. Uh, let's get a jersey number there when that melee cleans up. Cirillo off the back, getting good ball distribution out. Ball's out to Herning. Herning's looking for a good little job. offload to Corfin. Corfin with the sweet steps. There it is, nice work covering that play. Landerman, nice. Landerman to Rhodes. Rhodes pumping the legs, moving, moving, moving. Go to ground, go to ground now. Oh, they oh, lifted her up, they lifted up. her up. So go to ground. That was heads up play by uh, Nightmares. We'll talk about that and breaking the action, but uh, Morris still on the front foot here working hard. This could be another scoring opportunity. Trundling run right there, making the hard yards. Great ball distribution off the back. Maroney opts to Corfin. Corfin goes out to number four, which I believe was Aaron O'Brien. Aaron O'Brien gets taken down far side. Morris on the front foot again. They're, mo they're moving the ball. They're, they're pounding. Oh, and try that's it. We're in, folks. Another try. So this is a much better series of play, Gino, from this team in this second part of the first half. 100%. Again, tempo. Right, they're moving the ball. Forget about what's being called on the field, just play. And that's well, what they're doing. I think they're managing the tempo too, right? They're speeding yeah. it up. They're speeding it up when they want to speed it up. They're slowing it down when they want to slow it down. Like, mm -hmm. And that's making the difference. Yep, yep. <laughs> okay, kick is uh, yet to come again. It's a far side one. This is, uh, Cirillo is a competent foot, but this is a tough kick. Uh, I'm gonna, looking at the flag, she's got a little wind to help her, I think, here. Well, let's see. It's still tough, tough, tough kick from the outside there, but it's let's see. coming across the face of the post, man. I think she's going to, yeah, this is still a tough one. Yeah. Plus the location. I mean, nothing's easy about it. No, she works on it every day of practice, so it's a good thing. Yeah, she's, uh, she's one of those kids that goes home and, and puts the work in, too. It's a great strike. Oh, uh, she that's... Had, she had the leg. She had the leg there. 
Okay, so folks, uh, unfortunately, Cirillo's kick is no good, but it was a good effort, but that's going to bring it 17-12, and I think those are two good scores for Morris, keeping their chins up and heading, heading yes. the game. Yeah, definitely. Again, working as a team. Yeah. So what was a choppy start uh, is turning into a pretty good game of rugby. I, I have to say this, Steph, you know, all the years I coached with you and we always gave up points in the beginning, and we were always playing from behind. <laughs> we were always a second-half team, yeah. Oh, my my God, that was a frustrating period. <laughs> You're absolutely, I tried to blank that, but thanks for bringing that back up. <laughs> Balls up. Oh, well fielded by O'Brien. O'Brien looking for the yardage. She's making it. Holding on, holding on. She's got support from her. She's still up on her feet. Okay, brought down just about the 10. On the move from Barati right there in the number two jersey. Really nice work from that young player. Cirillo off the back. McNoney, McNoney out to uh, Maroney. Oh, just a little bit of a bobble ball there. Um, it's not, not allowing him to play the advantage there. Should have let him go. Yeah. Yeah, That well, okay, so we'll have scrum down here. It'll be Miles is put in in the red jersey for, uh, for Nightmares. So let's see what the Nightmares do here. I... I you might be right this time. They may go with a little pick here and see what happens. I think, listen, their eight is super competent with ball in hand, you know. I, I'd i be running that play until until somebody picks up and stops it. All right, it looks like we have uh, Sadie coming in, if I'm not mistaken, in the 23 jersey. And, uh, yeah, we've got a, a bit of a bloody nose here on Aaron O'Brien, who's getting taken care of. So blood sub happening right now, coming over to, <laughs> coming over with a big grin. Uh. <laughs> uh, you know, it's, it's <laughs> somebody's always got to laugh. <laughs> well, she's being a really good sport about it, that's for sure. <laughs> that's great. Ball put in. So that's. Balls uh, out by nine. Look out, they're just going to run it. Okay, 10 looks, oh, she, uh, she uh, dummies the inside sneak right there and moves the ball to the far side. Really nice work from Nightmares there. And number 15, is she's running very hard for them. Absolutely. Okay, oh, a little bit uh, tough a, ball to the chest. Knock. Yeah. Okay, this... Ooh, uh, good tackle. This would be a good opportunity for both teams to take it down a notch and kind of, you know, reform their offense and their defense because there's too much space out here by us, Gino. Yeah, no, but but look at look what happened. In the very big, first couple minutes of this game, the Nightmares were spread out across the field yeah. really well. Now they're all bunched up in the middle. That tells me they get a little bit of fatigue. It's a little bit of fatigue, and maybe there's a little bit of panic, too, which they weren't feeling after two scores were put on them, one, two. Yeah, yeah, you put two scores up right away after you, you know, spotted them 17. Yeah. Uh, a little gut check. So, uh, Sadie, that's Pearson Massey in the 23 jersey that's uh, covering for the blood sub for O'Brien yep. at the moment. Sienna Miller, great Strong. young lady right here, Strong second runner. season. Just really doing a great job in the three jersey. Good ball out here. JoJo McNoney reads the space well into the green space. Kick chase. Ooh, Good tackle. big tackle. Nice work from, look like Maroney there, yes. And a turnover back to Morris. Oh, great series of play from the black jersey. Oh, Pearson Massey with the uh, jittery hands just being in, turns the ball over to a knock. But Gino, what a great series of play that was, right? I, you know, I was kind of waiting for Mignoni to kind of go up and over a little bit. And yeah. I, I know it's a perfect time to do it. Nobody really out there. Two players tracking him down, Herning and uh, Maroney. Uh, good hit by Maroney. Yeah, absolutely. That, and and Mars gets the ball back. Unfortunately, you know, just a little bit bobble hands there, but that's okay. Yeah, yeah, that that happens. It's first first few minutes of your game, and you know that's it's all right. But uh, really well read by Mignoni. And you know, I like the way she plays. She plays with her heads up, her head up. She's scanning the field for those opportunities, and when that ball goes up, reds on side uh, or blacks on uh, always on sides, and yep. uh, the chase is on. Yep. No. Nope. So we're. Got a few uh, celebratory blood subs over here by the trainer. Everybody wants to bleed from the nose right now. <laughs> Good job, kid. All right, put in Miles. He's working off the back of her eight. Eight picks it up, going to do the ball distribution. She hands it off to nine. Miles, and then Vogel, Vogel inside ball to, I believe, the six. 
Yes, the, that was the six, and that's Miller. Right. Moving the ball well out here again. That is uh, that's Vogel again in the ten jersey. Unless we've got duplicates, they warned yeah, they, us that they, they, do, they have. They do have two, but uh, there's definitely uh, you'll know who's who. There's another run hard oh, by four. Oh, that's a real nice run there. This is the first ball, ball in hand from Locke in the number four. Funny enough, Locke for in the lock roll. Yep. Okay, and here we go again. Uh, nice, nice carry right here from one of the tight three. It doesn't have, doesn't have, yeah, that's, what, whoa, whoa, what's going, that should be, let him play. Let him play. Okay, it looks like, uh, yeah, so that was the number one, Lytic on the carry, getting up a little slow there. And oh, McNoni looking on the outside lane. She might have it, folks. She could be She's gone. getting down there. Big chase right here from Miles and Vogel, Smart. but. Smart. Oh, my goodness, folks. Smart, smart play, and the try is awarded. We were just waiting for the referee to get down there and put the arm up. And then uh, we've got a little bit of technical difficulty. We're going to get that fixed in a second for you, Gene. So really nice little uh, uh, nice break here from uh, McNoney, who takes it down the far side and dots it down. Big, big chase from Miles and Vogel. They weren't giving it up easy, but that puts another five on there. Gene, I'm going to yeah. help you in two secs. No, I'm good. I think I'm good now. Okay, very good. good. So that makes it 17 and all. At, and we're at the half. Uh, let me just get down McNoni right here with the yeah. kick to come. Uh, Morris could take the lead here at the half. Do we get your mic figured out? Yeah, yeah, we think we're good now. Okay, thank you, Chris. Another tough kick here for Cirillo. Wins died off a little bit. She may have this one. Nice strike from Cirillo. Oh, just Boy, a, she's on right target, there. but she's short. right there. Man, tough one. So 17 all at the half. Gino, uh, before heck a, we... Heck of a 35 minutes there. Wow. Holy cow. You're not kidding. You are not kidding one bit, man. That was a... So a very choppy start, right? Particularly from Morris. And yep. uh, and Nightmares really took advantage of that in the first 10 to 15 minutes of the game. 100%. Morris started pulling it together, put a couple of scores up, and then just tied it up at the half. Really nice effort from Morris in that second part of the first half. Again, you know, using rugby IQ, penalties called, people are just kind of looking around, tap the ball and go. That's uh, right. And Mignoni did a great job with that. And then and again, again, she's just got a, a very fast feet there. So good job for her to, to put them tied at the half. Gene, I'm going to go get um, Alyssa Eisenhart, who's back from West Point oh, great, for great. the weekend, and let's get her on the mic. Why don't you ask her, get a little rundown on what's going on up at uh, War uh, up, up Women's at Army yep. Rugby. Hang on. All right, we're back. We're back. So we get a little bit of time here, and, and luckily uh, one of our former players, Alyssa Eisenhart, down from West Point, uh, had a little wet time yesterday, huh? Oh, yeah. It was really wet. I think it was the wettest it's ever been for me, to be honest. The uh, whole field was like a pool. <laughs> you, you can't do much when you're playing in the mud at that point. No. No, especially, you know, when you're looking at, you're playing on the Hudson, you think you're actually playing in the Hudson at yeah. a certain point. <laughs> That's what we were joking. We were like, well, actually, it's sevens in the Hudson instead of sevens on the Hudson. <laughs> well, Felt like know, that. Maybe, maybe we should pull out the crew boats, play a little bit, have yeah. a little bit of fun there. Some <laughs> boat races would have been fun. So how are the women doing this season? I know in the fall you struggled a little bit, you know, younger team, mm -hmm. uh, getting, a, you know, trying to get everybody back in the mix of things. How are things progressing right now in the, in the spring season? It feels really good. The energy is definitely a lot more positive than the 15 season. I think it was because we lost a lot of our starting lineup from the previous season. So just kind of figuring it out game by game. Um, but I think we really figured it out at the end. We ended on a really nice win against Navy. And that was, I think, our strongest lineup that we had. But for sevens, it's it's looking actually pretty good. It feels very fluid. It feels very positive, And it's very exciting to play. Um, all the girls are always just excited to get out there and 
do some stuff. It's just very creative, and we're just really honestly out there having fun, which that, is the best part. That that's, that makes you want to go to practice, right? Yeah, and, and, and exactly. be together more than mm -hmm. more than you really need to be, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but at least you got the win against Navy. Go Army, beat Navy. True. Um, so I know you uh, you have a bunch of seniors you lost last year. How do you, how many do you lose this year? And as far as rebuilding, what do you think is going to happen? We only lose three seniors this year. Um, each of them did play like a pretty pivotal role in our lineup, but um, we I have confidence that the people coming in and also like the current players will really be able to fill those spots. Um, it'll definitely be a loss for sure, and I'm going to miss them a lot. But I think going into next year, we'll retain most of our starting lineup. So just focusing on uh, filling in those spots will be our main concern. And, and, you, and you guys have a good advantage too, I think, at times. Microphone keeps going out here. <laughs> All right, uh, but you guys have an advantage too. I mean, it, pretty much everyone on your team is a leader in some fashion, mm -hmm. no matter what. Right. Uh, is Molly Murtaugh one of the, one of your seniors going out this year? Yes, she's yeah. our captain. Molly was one of the first ones we put at West Point yep. from the Mars program, and then mm -hmm. we were able to follow three years consecutively after yeah. that. So uh, we've we've had a good time there. Hopefully, we will put somebody at Navy. I know you don't want to hear that, but I know, nice, yeah. to, nice to see that at some it, point. Yeah. But we'll uh -huh. take all the all the military academies. That's okay. <laughs> so uh, what else is going on with you outside of West Point? Uh, anything going on with rugby outside of uh, just playing at, at the point? Um, well, so I'm. Going to Wales this summer to oh, play nice. with the U-20s, so that should be super exciting. I'm very excited for that. It'll be pretty much the whole month of July, so it'll be a long um, excursion, I guess, but I'm very excited. <laughs> we get to play Canada and Wales and England. Oh, wow. So, so. that would be a great tour. Yeah, it's, I'm very excited. We're already having some like Zoom calls and meetings and you know talking about our goals for the summer. So Awesome. That's awesome. Yeah, it's, it's, it's great to see, uh, you know, all of you going from the program here, going to your college uh, to get your college degrees, and then go play rugby after that. And have yeah, some fun. true. Because Nessa's coming with me too. Oh, nice. So. Nice. So that'd be two people from the Mars yeah. program. Mm -hmm. So very, very good. Uh, what else? What else we got up going up up at the point? Anything else? Any any camps coming up uh, during the summer that uh, any of the, the listeners should be aware of? Yes, there will definitely be rugby camps during the summer. I think there are two separate weeks that they have. Um, I think normally they're in July, and there's always the summer leader experience that you can do as an ingoing, like a junior going into your senior year. That's not through, that's not rugby, but that's just like if you're interested in going to West Point. That's my leadership detail this summer, uh -huh. so I'll be a SLE cadre, as they call it. <laughs> so that'll be my... My West Point training this summer will be that. Oh, but I've heard good. it's a great time. That's good. At least, you, at least you're in one spot. You don't have to move all over yeah, the place. Yeah, true. It'll just be at West Point the whole time, so I won't <laughs> have to like go out in the field and stuff. Oh, Fun, fun, fun. Uh, and hopefully uh, Wales will be a little bit cooler than it is here in the United States at this point. At, or at least during <laughs> July, because yeah. July you know you want to be playing in some places around here. Yeah, I really hope it's not humid. <laughs> I pray for good weather, but just no humidity. That would be, you know. But, well, I... Anything else that we, that we need to know, Liz, or, or are you pretty much tapped out with all the information I've asked you for? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, nothing comes to mind, but if I think of something, I'll let you know. Anytime. So, Alyssa, thanks for joining us during the half here, and uh, what we'll do is uh, we'll take a little break, and we'll get back on, and maybe we could turn the mic on a little color for uh, the second half. Yeah, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Great.
How do you sound? I think it sounds good. Okay, cool. All right, folks, we're back with second half action here. Uh, nightmares from the Lancaster County area, PA, up against Morris here on uh, one of the home pitches, a little bit further out from Morris County out here in beautiful Clinton, New Jersey, courtesy of Mike Eisenhart and his family and a wonderful relationship that they have with the town and the Rex department where we get to play on these terrific fields. I'm joined uh, for the second half action with uh, Alyssa Eisenhart, Mike's daughter, who is attending West Point. And I think if you were listening earlier, she was chatting with uh, the old head coach, Gene, on uh, how things have been going. But glad to have you here. Yeah, glad to be here. After a, a muddy day up at oh, yeah. uh, Anderson Field, huh? <laughs> yeah, it was, it was bad. <laughs> it was really bad. I, I was saying to you earlier, I saw your mom's pictures and she just said Mudfest or something like yeah, that. It was... uh, yeah, exactly. <laughs> no other way to describe it, to be honest. Okay, we're up on the restart, and it looks like it'll be miles uh, as it was before in the 9 jersey. Nice little boot here. Good hang time on that ball, but well fielded by McNoney in the 10. Oh, good run. Yeah, McNoney it just has that deceptive footwork, uh, and she just slides through tackles. Uh, it, it's, it's something that's uh, been a lot of fun to watch. Yeah, I agree. Okay, finally brought down. Uh, ball moving off the back. Cirillo, nice work to McNoni. McNoni, look. yeah, with a nice chip over the top right there, making it hard on uh, Nightmares in the backfield. Maybe not that hard. Looks like they're <laughs> returning it pretty well. I always feel like a chip is a good way to get the defense thinking. Absolutely. Oh, kind of, hey, we're on it. Yeah, you got to <laughs> expect a couple different things from us, not just running. That's, that's a great point, and that's something that we talked about. Like The kick is really starting to become something mm -hmm. in the high school and collegiate game in the United States, which I think you can attest to yeah. five, six years ago wasn't there. Yeah, right? I agree. It wasn't mm -hmm. used as a tool as frequently. Yeah. Yeah. It's definitely something that they tell us to look for a lot, um, whether it's a grubber or a chip. It's okay. Like you can exploit the defense for sure, and uh, if they're not expecting it, if they're coming up hard every time on defense and you hit a little chip over that, at least they have to think about it next time. Absolutely. And like you said, it's just another tool in the toolbox, right? Mm -hmm. And it's like, and it, and it keeps, it, as you say, keeps people guessing. Yeah. Cirillo to uh, McNoney again. McNoney uh, stuck right there trying to get it out. Looks like it went to Herning on the wing. Cirillo fishes it out. Dummy runner through, Rhodes with the carry. Rhodes with a nice carry back into contact, pumping the legs, secures the ball. Looks like we've got a whistle, folks. Okay, back 10 for the red jersey. This is a great position right here for Morris. Let's see what they're gonna opt for. Call was not rolling away, thank you, Gene. They're gonna go for the tap, man. They want the score, and it's oh, McKenzie Marks on the big carry. Okay, ball's getting turned over the other way now, unfortunate for Morris. And uh, we also have a player down, something, you know, we say this all the time, this is never something you want to see. We've got trainer taking the field, coaches as well. Uh, hopefully this young lady, it's uh, nothing too serious. Uh, she's, get, uh, she's struggling to her feet. Okay, that's good. Yeah, Alyssa, that's a good sign, right? You yeah. want to see that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure, it's a stinger. That, yeah, it doesn't Sometimes feel you just good. need a second. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get hit weird or not the wind knocked out of you. You just need like a one second. Man, like, that's good. the worst. That yeah. is the worst. I think the worst feeling is when you land on the ball. You oh. land on the ball, the wind gets knocked out of you, and you're like, I, I can't you go, go <laughs> on from here. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Bit of a panic, too, right? Uh, yeah. You're like, holy cow. <laughs> like, wait, why can't I breathe right now? What's going on? <laughs> All right, so they're getting it together here. Uh, ball looks to be in the hands of Miles in the nine jersey. Let's see if I can get a look see there. Yes, Miles in the red jersey, the nine for uh, Nightmares uh, having a chat with uh, the referee. Okay, still being attended to. Did we have two players down there, Alyssa? It looks like we might have. Uh, maybe. I know number seven was the first one down. Yeah. The other one has something orange in her hand. I can't really see what it is. I thought maybe it was a cleat, but <laughs> I am not sure. Okay. Uh, 
Okay, it looks like play is going to resume. Yeah, okay, ball's kicked to touch by uh, Miles. Good and choice there, I think, just where they are on the field. Absolutely. Smart choice. We were saying, I, when you were playing for Morris, we never saw them in 15s, right? No. Only in 7s. Yeah, only in 7s. Yeah. They're very good at 7s. I remember they're very athletic and fast. It was like, do not let the ball get out on the wing. Oh, yeah. Or they're going to beat us on the wing. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they've always had speed there. And, and you know, uh, Chris was saying earlier, you know, just because you're a good 7s program doesn't necessarily mean you're going to be a good 15s program. But right. I think, uh, you know, they've, they've proved to mm -hmm. the other side today. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the transition from sevens to fifteens is harder than fifteens to sevens because they're like less space on the field. Yeah. So you have to kind of figure out like where do we put everybody. But and I think they've done a pretty good job today. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're not kidding. Yeah, it's it's two different games, right? Mm -hmm. It's it's played very, very differently. Yeah. You know? So mm -hmm. way different styles. And also like a lot of people's mindsets have to change and that is probably some of the hardest part. Yeah. Like for our forward pack at least, it's like, hey, you can't just run into contact. You have to look to hit that shift or, you know, pass the ball out, and it's just switching the mindset. You're looking for that space versus yeah. the face, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, so a little sloppy off the top of that line out, which is lucky for Morris, and Morris puts on the good defensive pressure. Ooh, Big good hit. tackle from uh, Sosie Herning there. Just a tough, tough little player in that 11 jersey. More good work here from uh, the uh, pink camo. Uh, Morris really putting pressure on this Nightmares team. I think Morris's tackling has gotten better this second half. It really has. It's more aggressive, I think, today. Yeah, it, it's they're taking that space. They're not waiting for the player. Right. They're not catching mm -hmm. the tackle. Yeah. Yeah. Try awarded. Really nice work there. It looked like Cirillo would have uh, dotted that down as well. Just dessert for uh, somebody really working hard out there in the yeah, nine jersey. I agree. So that's going to make it. Morris takes the lead for the first time in this game with Cirillo's uh, five points there with the kick to come. That's 22-17 Morris. Uh, once again, Morris first time taking the lead in this game. So a little uh, tale, of two, tale of two halves, I guess, yeah. right? Yeah, mm -hmm. definitely shows you that whoever comes out there the hardest at first is going to have a little bit of the advantage. He's gonna so I think straight off the kickoff in the second half, Morris has come out here pretty, pretty strong. They, they sounded good at the half, too. There was right. a lot of banter and chatter mm -hmm. and, you know, jokes and laughing. So, you, you, if, oh, just, just a short, tough day for kicking. Such a good ang angle, though. She had a great one over here, and I think it just sheared off with the wind uh, just at the end of yeah. the first half, too. So it's coming. So kick no good, but Cirillo dots it down for five. Once again, if you're just joining us, it's 22-17 Morris versus Nightmares from the Lancaster County, PA area. Kick T being exchanged off the pitch. Restarts up. Miles puts up a, a clean, a close, good high ball there. Not unfortunately well fielded by Ronsky in the eight jersey off the chest. That's going to result in the line out. But uh, in, a, in a good position for us behind the desk here because we get to really get a good look see yeah. at it. <laughs> Two competent packs here, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, both well coached, technically sound. Uh, which you like to see, and uh, also the referee's been really taking her time around this platform to make sure that it's as safe as possible. Miles with the put in. Looks like good clean ball. There's the eight man sneak right there. Good low hit. Real nice work from Bortz there. They're still on the front foot, folks. I don't know how your advantage is if you've got better than I do, but please call it out and listen what you see. Moving ball. the ball wide now. Okay. Ball through the hands. Number five on the carry here. That's going to be Patterson. Patterson, as far as we can tell, first time touching the ball. Competent. Off the back there. Miles goes out to another oh. 10. We have a new 10 on the field. Takes Line. that gap nicely. She really did, right? Sees that outside space, takes advantage of it, puts the gears in. But Morris, a little scramble D right there. Looks like potentially there's a holding up. 
Okay, there is a penalty call. Unfortunately, I didn't see a hand gesture there, Alyssa. Did we see? I, I'm not sure what she did, but I think it may have been a double movement. Okay. Into the try zone. Okay. So it looks to be a five meter dropout, but I'm not sure. Oh, she's kicking for touch. Okay. So we'll have to get that figured out for you folks, uh, for those watching. But really, that's heads up defense from uh, the, uh, the pink camel jersey right here, right? That's the pressure that you want to put on when they're in the five to turn that ball over and take that score away. Yeah, I agree. So we see Sosie Honing was just coming off as well as Van Dorn. Uh, so taking off the two wings, 14 and 11. Uh, that's a that's a pretty uh, pretty big move because you've got two competent players in those jerseys. Nice line out ball there. Goes a little bit loose. Good fire play right there. Well taken. Good line of defense for Morris. Yes. Meeting it there. So, folks, it looks like we've got some player changes on the uh, Nightmares. Oh, good drive back. We're not going to call the names like we were because I know these jerseys aren't line, all lining up correctly, uh, which we were warned about uh, the, on the duplicates. Not anybody's fault. Ready, ready, up! Oh, I like that little inside step from Dummy, Miles there. Yeah. yeah. Hitter, driver, ready, ready, nice creative play. Nine is in, so ten ops to pick it up. And it looks like uh, a new number seven there is opting to take it into contact. Well stopped by the Morris D. Morris putting some Ooh. decent pressure on here. And then DJ right there with a great tackle is able to hold on. Six Landerman takes her down. Landerman getting up a little slow off that tackle. Number six here again. I believe good that's a first drive. half Miller. Yeah, she's a competent ball yeah, carrier. Yeah, she's got good leg drive. Takes two to take her down. Absolutely, Dr dragging those, de that dragging that defense, right? Yeah, and 15 has a fantastic stiff arm. 15, that's uh, if we have this correct, is Denlinger. Uh, I think that stiff arm caused her a little bit of trouble the last time oh, around. Over yeah, there, but. a little too high, but <laughs> yeah. she seems to figure it out this time. I think it's a good tool, though. To yeah, your point, I right? agree. You mm -hmm. know, take that chance. Sometimes yeah. it ain't gonna work, but as long as you get a little lower. Yeah. It stays the same. Yeah, keep away from the throat. Yeah. <laughs> You're okay. <laughs> Bit of a melee nice on the far from side. Morris. Yes, nice work there. Mackenzie Marks on the carry, taking players with her. She stopped just south of the 10. You can see. Oh, oh good kick. That's what you're looking for, yeah, right? Yeah, exactly. What a Get great it out time of that for space. that. Might Here's as well defend up here. Great chase right here from DJ in the 16 jersey as well. Yes. To the outside. Oh. Not a knock Let's get a time check here for you folks. About 11 minutes into the, uh, actually let's call it about 13 minutes into the second half here. Uh, if you're joining us, it is Nightmares uh, Rugby from Lancaster, PA area against uh, Morris from uh, Morris County and surrounding counties, New Jersey up here at beautiful Bunt Park in Clinton, New Jersey. And I'm joined here by Alyssa Eisenhart playing in the number 10 jersey for uh, West Point this year for this is sophomore year, correct? Yes. Awesome. Yep. Two more years, and then we'll see where, <laughs> where, it where the you. world takes me. Yeah. That's awesome. Hopefully more uh, more exciting rugby will be involved yeah, with that I as well. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Scrum down far side. It's a nightmare's put in. Looks like Miles on the duties. DJ trying to get that line worked out. Ball's coming out, taking their oh. time off the back of that red there. Ball's moving well through the hands. Oh, just as I say it, Knock ball's on. lost. Good line of defense there for Morris, too, just to get in their face a little bit. Creating that pressure, mm -hmm. right? That's yeah. the ball drop right there. It's like, you, you know, you hear those footsteps mm -hmm. coming at you. You feel somebody coming at you. You're like, oh, God, they're here. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> okay, so this will result in a second scrum down here, uh, a little bit closer to our side of the field, but no yards gained on that. If Morris could get like an overload on the weak side here, I think it would work really well. Absolutely. Because they have so much space. And you got a very competent runner right here yeah. in the 16 jersey too. Just coming up from uh, the U14s program this mm -hmm. year, DJ. 
DJ Corridan. Cirillo on the back, out to her partner in the 10 jersey. Nice, oh, oh nice work loop. from uh, Rhodes right there. Rhodes That's and Mignoni. That's good ball movement. Taryn Gonzalez on the far side getting taken down but making some good hard yards. Ball's gonna get recycled, gonna stay with Morris. There's another charge up the weak side and unfortunately it looks like the flag went up for touch. Nice ball movement from them though, to get out there. Absolutely, and I do like the weak side play, right? Mm -hmm. Just, you know, they're, they're gonna be mindful of it and look right. to use that white line. <laughs> okay, so this will result in a uh, line out with uh, Nightmares uh, with throw-in. Uh, if, we if I'm correct from before, I think it was the number six Miller who'll be doing the throw-in duties. <laughs> Ball's up, a little bit of a fireball, but it's really well fielded there from Morris, so they're able to take that one. Morris on the front foot again, off of the Nightmares line out. That looked like Sienna Miller right there on a big carry. This is only your second year. Yeah. Really good player. That's awesome. Yeah, uh, Mackenzie Marks brought her out, a friend of hers from school, sitting okay. across the lunch table talking, and she's like, you gotta check this out. <laughs> That's you can great. See it in that's her how eyes. it happens. I right. feel like every time, that's how it happens. Yeah, that's how people find out about rugby, especially around <laughs> here. Absolutely, but you can see it after the first practice too. You know if somebody's right. coming back, uh -huh. right? Yeah, right exactly. Away. It's if they're scared of the tackling, yeah. which was me. My first ever practice, I was like, oh, <laughs> you know, born and raised soccer player. I was like, I don't want to do that. But I kept, you know, my dad made me come back, so it's worked out well. <laughs> it has worked out well. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Perseverance. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so unfortunately we had a turnover ball there, so it went to, but oh, they're not gonna find touch. Morris is gonna get back on the front. Good run from JoJo. Mignoni looking for the space. She's looking around that corner. She might have it. Oh, wow. That's a good run. You don't normally say you wanna see east to west. Yeah. But this time we're gonna that say that's out. okay. Yeah. <laughs> she was like, there's space over there. I'm going. And she went. Mignoni puts down five, making it 27-17 for Morris. That'll be two scores for Mignoni in this game. Really nice work there, heads up. We, we've said it before, um, we, we said it in the first half, but I, I know you'll agree, she's got a great read of the field. Mm -hmm. She plays yeah. heads up, mm -hmm. she's scanning for those options, whether it's on the foot or in the hand, and that's where it pays off. Yeah, and she's very calm while she does it. It's not Super. like sometimes you could see people who get a little anxious because they know everything that's going oh, on. Yeah. But she knows what's going on and is very calm about it. And trusts herself, which I think is good. I know any time I ever carried the ball, everything, it, it's just tunnel vision. Right. I'm just like, that's it. <laughs> this going. is where I'm going. I'm going. <laughs> right. So to have that is like such a gift. I agree. Cirillo putting in the work here on the kick. She's got a good strike on it, Alyssa. Oh, the angle is always there. Just I think not the enough grass mustard is a on long. it. Yeah. Oh well. Hey, uh, the, the the target's on. It just didn't have a little enough mustard on it to right. get over the uh, over the pipes. But nice work. So once again, 27-17 in the second half, going to Morris. As we were saying, Alyssa, it's kind of a tale of two halves. It looks like Morris is firmly in control of this half at the 18-minute mark. Yes, I agree. To about halfway through. These are 40 minute halves or 45? Uh, they're well, they're oh. actually playing 35s today. Oh, okay. Yeah. And they're going to try to sneak in a, a third half of about 20 for some of the younger players to get some time in the jersey. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I, I like that. I think that's an important piece. You gotta, you're gotta. you coming to practice. you got to get time on the field, too. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so quick turn of events here uh, with uh, Nightmares uh, firmly on the front foot. Gonna bring Gene back on in the third, Mike. Nice little eight-man sneak right here. This is what we've been talking about. Really nice work here. She's, oh man, she's got the steps. Outside support from the nine miles. Oh, they pulled her out of bounds. 
So Bortz and Miles really working that ball well together, but heads up defense right there, Alyssa, from from the uh, pink camel, right? Uh, yes. That's got to use that sideline, that 16th player. But really nice work off the back of that from Bortz, the eight, and uh, nine, uh, Miles, the nine. You can see that there's a good uh, team connect between those two players. Seems to be some confusion as to line out. Yeah, so the ball turned over to Morris for the line out, and it looks like I suspect. Um, oh, oh, do we have Barati on the uh, on the throw? And it, it appears so. Yeah, black scrum cap. Ball's up. Good lift. Well taken. Good catch. Yeah. Well, that's O'Brien. She's competent up there. She's she's uh, she's got two good lifters under her, and she's got great hands uh, at the top there. Oh, great decision to kick there. Yeah, absolutely, and gets the sympathetic bounces that they want. Morris. Look at that kick chase. Corfin there on top of it, just creating the static. Well done, Morris. Quick take here from McNoney. McNoney still moving the ball forward. Gets a little dish pass off to Corfin again. Corfin just working the legs, keeping the ball in. Cirillo off the back there, moving the ball to Aaron O'Brien. O'Brien oh, dishes cut off. There. Oh, nice work from Rhodes. New player here, just coming up from the 14s. Been chomping at the bit to play in the high school and really showing her, her oh, potential. Oh, good run. Good leg drive. I think that was a change in Jersey right there, and that was Tegan Mendel making those hard yards. Nice unselfish ball there from from Mackenzie Marks, but unfortunately kind of uh, errant pass that uh, is gonna result in, looks like a knock. So nice series of play from Morris, right? Yeah. I, I really liked what I saw there, unfortunate jittery hands, and we'll bring it in for a knock. The kick was a really smart play. You know, the, the, full, the fullback sitting kind of in the middle of the field, put the ball a little out to the right, uh, and then Chase with the, the other uh, players that were moved onside. Yeah. Good, really good play. So Morris making some wholesale substitutions there, bringing in some of the newer players. We see Claire coming in as well as Bianca, I believe. Uh, nice to see that, that uh, players are going to get a little bit more playing time off the bench after working so hard at practice. Okay, so it looks like uh, it'll be pink line out. Maroney here in the seven jersey will have the throw in honors. Looks like uh, Morris uh, getting their uh, getting their count and form together. Yep. So O'Brien's out, so we'll have a new jumper here. Maria Wise, Good job. Well taken. catch. Oh. That's a high tackle. That was an interesting little play there for uh, Cirillo to take it into the contact like that, right? It looked like, and Wise Good comes run. out with it, yeah. Smart play, again. Scrappy, scrappy player, that number five Wise. Scrappy player. Nobody's taking the ball out? Well, I guess I need to take it. That's, that's <laughs> a great way of playing. Uh, uh, absolutely. Two heads up plays right here, right? DJ Corridon over here with the slide cover on the ball. And then that nice work from Wise there with the loose ball. These are the games that help these younger players get more and more confidence. And it helps you as you start the season at a low, we'll say, and then at the end of the season, you mm -hmm. keep working, working, working. And you know, the final product is really where you want to be at the end. 100%, Gene, 100%. 100%. So we've got DeMarco here, actually a young player new to the game as well. Actually, I shouldn't say that. She's come up from the U14s program, so she's got chops, and uh, she's uh, the understudy here for Cusack in the 15 jersey, and very competent. So Yeah, some experience there. Yeah. Not an easy, not an easy jersey to fill, you know? There, there's a lot of responsibility in that 15 jersey. Yeah, I agree. It's definitely a very a lot more focused position, I would say. Like you uh -huh. have to be on all the time. A hundred percent. Because if you miss something, it might just end up in a try for the other team. Turn your back at the wrong time, right. and you've got the ball getting shelled mm -hmm. on you, right? It's yeah. like you're the last line of defense. Right. You, you got to throw your body out there, whether yeah. you like to or not. Exactly. Bite the bullet. Sacrifice. <laughs> so lock number four with the carry there. The lock. Lock. 
far side and Nightmare is looking for some opportunities here, nice but tackle. really nice yes, work yes. here. A lot yeah. of bodies being thrown around too. Well, I, it, this is the defense that I think uh, Mike and Bill have been talking about for a while that they've been drive, drilling and drilling and drilling. And this is, I, I think they'll be pretty happy with what they're seeing in this second half. Because Alyssa, I think you pointed out, great pressure D since right, the first yeah. whistle. Mm -hmm. It's very urgent. Very but it's also urgent. very calm. It's not just throwing themselves into the other yeah, players. It's like, I'm going to actually make my tackle. Very good yeah. point. And a try awarded there to Morris. There's a sense of urgency, but the tempo's right. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Nice work from Morris again, putting down for 37. And let's go back to the first the first three minutes of this game. That We didn't see that defense. Right, yeah. That defense showed up somewhere around the 20-minute mark in the first, say right. the first half. Right? Well, it certainly mm -hmm. wasn't there because they... <laughs> They scored on the Ran kick all return. The way through. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was that was a coast to coast. <laughs> <laughs> but again, with all the substitutions that are out there, we're not waiting for another no. ten or fifteen minutes for this to happen. Right. This happened right away. Yeah, no, great point, Gene. Great point. Cirillo with the wind in her favor for the first time today. Yeah, she she's been on the mark every time. It's just the yeah. ball is just uh, you know a few yards short, and it's has nothing to do with her. I think it's the wind. It's good. Oh, it's good. There it is. Finally, finally, she's got to be happy. She drove that ball. She did. It was like I've had enough. <laughs> <laughs> That's the worst feeling ever when your angle is there every time, and it's like the wind yeah. just killing you. Yeah. I think for the first time it worked to her advantage, which is great. I mean, at least you can you can attest to that. Yeah. You know, you, you've seen that yeah. how many times out there? <laughs> it's like, what can I do? And it's like, if I overkick it, then it's not going to go. But it's like, just the if wind I kick it is too so low, you right. get too high, maybe I curve it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, folks, I'm just looking at the clock. I'd say we've got about six minutes to play. I don't think we had any real stoppage. Significant oh. stoppage. Oh, DeMarco loses the ball forward on a big tackle. Good strong run, though. I, I yeah. Think I'm, I'm happy with that. It's going to stay with Morris, though. Ball being worked well. And that looks like number seven. That may be... It was number two on the carry? Yes. Yes. That's a different number two. That looks like Pearson Massey may have changed jerseys right there. Yeah, because I see her buddy B on the other side in the 12 jersey. Gotcha. And that's B Hughes. We got another injury for uh, Nightmares. Oh, okay. Uh, that may be Miles in the 9 jersey holding her wrist. You don't want to see that. No, no. She's had a really good game today, too, folks. I mean,. She's really, uh, she and her number eight, Bortz, have really been a nice conduit there, as well as Vogel at the 10. That They've been a really nice 8, 9, 10 combination mm -hmm. as far as stringing those plays together. Yeah, unfortunately, she's coming off, folks, a little gingerly, too. But, uh, all right, we wish her the best. Hopefully a little bit of soak in hot water, and uh, she'll be back to practice tomorrow. Hard work to her. Okay, so scrum down right in front of the post, just north of the 22, uh, and it looks like it'll be a uh, nightmare put in. Not sure who's doing the nine duties. We'll try to get your name to that jersey shortly, uh, but that's a big gap right there for this team. Well, Mars stole the ball there. Good drive. Jojo Mignoni looking for the space. Oh, oh, oh. just unfortunate there. It's all right. So he's going out to Claire. So it looks like Bortz and Miles are off. Oh, it was Bianca. Sorry. Thank you, Chris. So that's okay. You just got to work the jitters out. Okay, near side scrummage. This is going to be a nightmare's put in again because of the uh, knock force there by uh, uh, by Morris. Oh, slow little oh. feed comes out of the oh, tunnel. Ball's out there. Oh, we're going to whistle it up. It's 
So some of that could have been the feed there, Alyssa. What do you think, Gene? I think so. Yeah, yeah you got to give it a little bit of oomph to yeah. get it into that channel. Yeah. yeah. Hit that back ankle. Especially because this grass is kind of long, so if it's not rolling, it's not rolling. It's there you just go. Gonna stay exactly where it is <laughs> you're on the downward side of the pitch also so yeah you, you got to throw a little force in there she gives it a little more uh oomph there and the ball's in comes out the that's back out. that's out wait we're running the wrong way now we're running the right way okay <laughs> <laughs> boy they confused us yeah, might have been she was a little like, offside <laughs> i was gonna say that no, well no no she wasn't offside because oh, no? the ball the ball was already out okay so oh, yeah. ball's out yep, true. that's free Oh, That's good kick there. Fair enough. Sunlight on the ball, yeah. Yep. I don't know. She was there pretty quick, though. <laughs> well, I, I don't think the other scrum have to do where the ball was. Oh, okay. Lower! All right, so a little bit of a melee off the back of that, and it results in far side play uh, just north of the 10. There's some big rucking, counter rucking going yeah. on, but it's going to stay nightmare ball. Nightmare looking for the options. going to start running good north. Stiff arm there. Yes, big runner. She's been running. She's been working hard all day. Absolutely. Number six there. Number six, oh, Miller. Oh, good poach. Oh, didn't give it to her. Uh, yeah, well, Miller's been putting in the work today. Absolutely. You're back 10. We don't need to go 15. So down low. Get low. Got to get low. Yeah, going to be a big carry here from uh, right, Chris. Good tackle. tackle. Good tackle. Ready, Looks like a competent runner right here. Yep. Yeah, just oh, shaking tackles hang on. all over the place. Strong. That is a new seven jersey out there, folks. Unfortunately, we don't have a name. Um, no, it's a different uh, different player than the first seven jersey. Oh, uh, gotta get There's low. the other seven right there. Gotcha. Ready, ready. No, looks like we've got somebody holding their head. It looks like Mackenzie Marks is. She's bouncing. Uh, big, big pressure here. Nightmares wants this one. Yep. They settle the ball. Good work here, number four off the back. I believe that's Locke. I, I like the I like the way they're they know they can't up. they can't tackle her, but they're gonna hold the ball up. That's a good good position. I'd be happy with that. Yeah. Again, we've been saying it. It's just these these are young folks and, and playing heads the up. Rugby. And there's a turnover. Tegan Mendel with the carry, trying to work it out from the uh, the five. Ball's gonna get good there kick. we go. That's good space for this kick, too. Oh, That's it good is. placement. Is. Look at that great chase from Bianca in the 19 jersey right there. Good, Caitlin. Nope. Oh. Okay, that's all right. Play the whistle. It was good heads up play, and uh, unfortunately, it just didn't go our way. A couple more. Very nice work here. Big wholesale uh, Mar line change. Mar Mars getting caught here in the hockey the line change. Oh, God. <laughs> Mignoni, Landerman, and uh, Maroney coming off after a hard work second, first and second half. Turn off now, off now. All right, so we're now we're back to equal strength before we had a couple extra players out there. <laughs> Saturday, so, uh, folks, we got to be in the dying minutes of the second half here. Knock. Uh, Looks like Nightmares wants that last one. Yeah. Making it exciting. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, big hockey shift change right there for uh, Morris putting in a bunch of new players and uh, getting that opportunity they've been chomping at the bit for. It's good to see the third line get out there. <laughs> and I see the same thing happening with, uh, uh, with Nightmares as well because I see Bortz, Miller, and uh, other, uh, a couple other key players from uh, the majority of the game off getting a rest as well. Right. So it looks like they're getting their younger players in there as well. Losing! Losing out! Ready out! Move out! Nice ball distribution oh. off the back. Oh. Unlucky. Unlucky. Knocking it on has to be one of the worst feelings ever. Oh, man. It's just like... <laughs> it, oh. it just, it just grabs you right, right in the gut, right? Yeah. Just, <laughs> I know. You're like, if my fingers would only work the There's way my brain was thinking. There's literally nothing else you can do about oh, it after nice. that. <laughs> Mind your business, coach. <laughs> this is the true technical zone. That's right. <laughs> That's right. You don't have the credentials. <laughs> All right, Mackenzie Marks coming off, uh, and probably rightly so. It looked like she took a knock to the head. She's being walked over by Coach Mike, and the trainer is following. A uh, little bit of ball work here. Straight Go down. Good. 
Good, go to the ground. Good support. I like the fact that she kept her feet until she had the support there that she needed, right? Yep. Don't go down unless you get somebody next to you or behind you. Guys, you're too oh. flat. You're on Unlucky. Offense. So, uh, B. Hughes making the attempt there. Uh, the oh, ball a little bit caught in the wind there. Probably a half step behind it, but... You know, that's uh, that's ball at pace, right? That's where you want to be with a full head of steam coming at it. But you know, we're seeing a, we're seeing a couple of balls kind of go off fingertips, and people are not getting upset about it. They're just playing the conditions. Mendel taking herself out of the game here. It looks like she's got some issues with her knee. You know, it's something she's been uh, struggling with for quite a while. And it looks like Wise will take her spot in the uh, in the scrum. Uh, a little bit of mayhem out here in the dying minutes of this second half of this game as uh, Morris is scrambling with uh, uh, an injury sub. Penalties called. It's going to be... Well, Wait. well it, both teams don't know what's happening right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a little confusing out there, but it looks like it's going to result in a yeah. Nightmares penalty in favor of them. Three with the big carry here. That's Chris again. Ronsky going in there nice to make tackle. a tackle. Nice tackle. Ronsky has become very competent in that eight jersey. Oh, pressure it! Pressure! Nice tackle. Ready! 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 Oh! Nightmare's moving the ball well. Nice little skip pass. Unfortunately, jitter hands on the far side. And we're going to result in another knock over there. Alyssa, that is frustrating. I, yeah. It's just because, like, I don't know, if you make a bad pass, you can maybe like recover for it yeah. and like, go help your teammate, but when you knock it on, it's just like the whole game stops, got to do the scrum, and you're like, oh, that was me, that was my fault. 15 people are yeah. cheering yay, <laughs> 14 are going, oh, darn. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Have to do that shameful walk over to the spot. Yep. <laughs> yep, it's me. Sorry. It's me. Like, it, there's no one else to blame. Can't hide. <laughs> Nowhere to hide. <laughs> Um, so maybe there was a bit of injury time there that we weren't accounting for, guys, because we, I am showing about 38 minutes into this half right now, and we we're, I was probably about a minute and a half slow on getting the clock started, so we're uh, approaching the 40 minute mark. Ball out, good ball out. Movement. DJ, nice ball distribution. Ooh, good cut there. Great inside Great step cut. from DeMarco. DeMarco really oh. looking for soft shoulders, and she's got him. Great young player there. Sienna Miller just dropping Ooh, that wow. shoulder. Just just nice drive. strong, strong run. Wow. Nice series of play from a very young Morris team right here. DJ Corridan looking for the uh, looking for the hard yards, finding them. Just running into contact. I mean, most people run away from it. She's running right into it. Yeah. Oh, nice little ball. Oh, distribution. good cut there again. Wow, DeMarco's got some really She's slippery. Cool, holy yes. cow, great way to describe it. This, oh wow, Bianca on the outside. Arm fend there, she's working it. Gives it oh, off. good finish. Oh, oh ball gave, up, gave it up, unfortunately. Oh, tough one. Tough one for this young Morris side, but the. A lot of work, but great tackle there by. Uh, big ball runner taken down right there, but. Nightmares is going to stay on the front foot. Uh, looks like DJ is going to come off with a pop to the head. Um, probably get looked at. Um, it's super important to get that addressed right away. Nightmare still on the front foot, and the Morris is really trying to scramble that D and have. We have a whistle. I think somebody let's, has needs to let the referee know that we're a little bit beyond uh, the half. Yeah. Uh, good, so good tackle. Yeah, that's Locke again on the carry in that number four jersey. She's been making the hard yards today as well. Uh, I think we're starting to see some of that fatigue work through because that line's not meeting the pace that they no, need to. No. And here's McNoney just doesn't want to let it go. Oh, oh, oh. oh, oh great job there holding her up. You don't, keep, you don't get as many seconds as you want to call a, a try here, so. Yeah, I think uh, you guys are right. That's, There's that's the whistle, the folks. There's the whistle. And it's good timing because we're starting to see bodies go down, and it's probably a good time to give these ruggers a rest. Uh, I think, uh, you know, we were saying it before, guys. It was a tale of two halves. It was very much a, a, a nightmare's first half and much more a uh, more a second half. What, what are your guys' thoughts? 
I would agree. I, actually, I would say it was probably the Nightmares' first 20 minutes, 20 almost 25 uh, in the first half. They were they were looking like they were going to walk Put Morris a off the off, yeah, yeah. They, they were walking Morris off the pitch, and then Morris yeah. kind of dug in and and got back to let's call it back to zero. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and then this 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 half uh, I think is more uh, your fill-ins and so ons, and I think this look might, this might be it. Um, yeah. But no, I, I definitely tail of two halves. Uh, Morris playing strong for at least the second game, the whole game, and then the half of the first half. The, the, the half of the second half of the first half is when they got their feet under them, I yeah. feel like. Mm -hmm. It started to look like a team. It originally kind of yeah. looked like they were kind of trying to figure each other out. Yeah. But then it was like, I think something clicked. Yeah. They got a little bit of confidence, and they were like, no, this is our game. And yeah. Came in. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, guys, it's been a pleasure. Alyssa, um, come back anytime. <laughs> Love having you. Yeah, thanks so much. And uh, good luck with the rest of the season. Hopefully, we'll see a couple of the games too. Gino, always a pleasure. I always and, love, uh, love, always love being out here, filling in for uh, Brian or for Jan or whoever else. So, yeah. but thanks for the invite. Had a great time today. All right, folks, uh, from us here at the uh, at the table, the booth, uh, wishing you a good rest of your weekend. And uh, we'd be remiss if we didn't say thank you to Chris Production O'Brien for all the hard work that he puts in quietly behind the cameras and uh, making sure that this runs smoothly. All right, we'll see you next weekend. See you, everybody.